tutorial i am going to discuss on what is called villa mentors code in session have you ever heard about this a uh, phenomenon that is called villa mentors code in session or abnormality that is called villa mentors code in session so the umbilical code the umbilical code has to attach at the center of the placenta so that it actually gets enough nutrients and it also gets enough oxygen from the supply of the placenta so what when we have got a condition now we call villa mentors code insertion this is in a typical case whereby the code is in going to insert what is inserted at the wall of the of the endometrium so it's not directly attached or connected to the placenta so in this case you are seeing what we have here is a case that i scanned in our radiology department so this uh, ecogenic mass that you are seeing uh, is the placenta so that's our placenta this is a nice placenta so that's a posterior upper segment placenta and what you are seeing here this is not a braxton hikes contraction it was actually another as a security lobe of the placenta so what you are seeing here what you are seeing here this is the the umbilical cord so you can see that instead of it coming and attach uh, on the placenta here is actually attached on the wall of the uterus here at the endometrium so you can see here so this attachment is what we refer to as a uh, vela mentors cord insertion so it's an abnormality where this cord is attached at the wall of the uterus and not on the placenta as it were so you can actually appreciate what is taking place you can see nicely our cord there uh, so the cord is coming here and then you can see it's actually attached here instead of it being attached on the placenta here so this is a case that we call villa mentors code incision you can see the feet of parts here you can see the feet of parts and then the code is attached this is our amniotic fluid uh, that we can appreciate here so you can see the amniotic fluid here and the code is attached there so this can have a challenge this code can actually detach here and then the fetus might also die and because there is not uh, enough or sufficient uh, blood supply that you can find here uh, as compared to the uh, nutritious and the rich supply that can come from the uh, placenta we are likely to have a uh, detachment of this cord at the same time we can also have insufficiency of the nutrients and oxygen the fetus and then the fetus can actually be retarded and might eventually die so you can appreciate what i'm talking about uh the same set up again you can appreciate what i'm talking about here this is the the code that i'm talking about you can see it's nice in session is there and then you can see uh, this is the sasaturic lobe of the of the placenta as you are seeing there uh it's a sasaturic lobe is not pathological they say it's, uh, it's just a variant and it doesn't cause uh, any clinical complications to the mother or to the child or the fetus sorry so you can appreciate what is taking place here we have our nice villa mentors uh coding session there villa mentors coding session amniotic fluid the feet of parts our main placenta so this is the main placenta posterior upper segment and then on the anterior upper segment we have got this saturated lobe uh, the same setup again you can see our nice placenta here and you can see the cord that is attached here so you can see the cord attachment here and we have got our uh security lobe there if you look closely here you can see it also have got the chorionic plate to say that it's not a hack yeah a braxton hax contraction so you can see the the cord nicely 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 and then its attachment there so when you are doing an ultrasound scan it is very very prudent for one to assess the attachment of the placenta uh, at the same time to assess the uh, attachment of the cord itself because you might only uh, be checking for things like placenta abruption not checking at other uh, things like 
this villa code villa condensation that can also cause complications to the fetal life in utero so do not forget to check for this condition that i am referring to as our villa mentors condensation so you can actually see the nice attachment of the of the code here you can actually see there and then uh, here we do have got our braxton and then we have got our, our placenta mass which is there very interesting case guys i hope you can also appreciate uh this is an interesting case and a very rare case that you might not find uh at your department in so many years or in, in the entire life li lifetime so this is a chance uh, discovery again uh on the on the color doppler you can appreciate that the the code is actually perfused uh, so it's still functional uh, no evidence of detachment as yet and then you can see the the perfusion is coming to the place or the point of uh, attachment here on the endometrial uh cavity inner lining here so you can actually appreciate the mass here we have that's our placenta that's our placenta so we can have uh insufficiency there because the fetus is going to be compromised are not going to get enough nutrients or uh, enough oxygen to sustain its uh, its life to tame so this is a pregnancy that needs uh, close monitoring so the mother previously had a history of a stillbirth but she also have uh, has a living uh, child one so you can appreciate uh, the flow there so this is before detachment so in this view you can actually appreciate what i'm talking about so this is actually uh, the saturated lobe it's distinct from the main placenta you're seeing here you can see amniotic fluid and then our cord is coming to for it to attach to attach somewhere here so this because you can see uh it has got the chorionic plate so obviously this is not a, a braxton hikes contraction which can present the same but because of the coronic plate this is a typical or a classical saturated lobe this is our main placenta mass as you can see or as you can appreciate i hope that you are doing so well and i believe it's also making sense what i'm trying to talk about so i need you to add to your vocabulary of learning to dictionary of ultrasound the word villamentas code in session so from today onwards when you're doing an ultrasound scan, obstetric ultrasound scan, do not forget to check for Villamenta's code in session. I appreciate you all for your time. I hope you are doing so well. I hope you are learning. I hope you are doing nice scans in your radiology department. You are making a positive impact to the livelihood of your patients. My name once again is Mr. Eochi Tumba. I hope uh, to meet you again in the next episode or in the next video. Uh, subscribe to our channel and spread the gospel. Thank you so much.